I've been reviewing an electronic timer RDT system for GLOW models based on the BMK E36 timer. I don't consider this video complete, but it will give some supplement to the instructions. I flew it this morning in my half a Zeke, and it seemed to work well. This is the timer ring that you install in your airplane, and you can easily take the timer unit in and out, because you will have to to charge the battery. This is the front of the face plate where it hooks to the timer ring. And this is where the timer is attached in the rear. And there's a little latch to keep it closed. I will cover setting the times on the timer and operating the timer, but won't go into more detail. Before you can use an RDT timer, the transmitter has to be bound to the receiver. I had previously bound the BMK B2 and I'm going to switch that to the flexi display so I need to rebind. With the power button off, hold down the red button and then press the red button once on the transmitter. It should turn solid red. Setting the DT for 5 seconds. With power button off, press down the red button, hold it, turn on the power, it flashes really fast. Release it will be moderately fast. Press again and the servo will move to the first position. You'll be releasing that button just after the arm moves past the wire for the engine cutoff. Press and hold again until you see the number of flashes you need for the engine run. When you release it will save the settings and it will flash really fast indicating they're saved. Setting the DT time starts just like for the engine timer. The difference is you'll be holding the red button as the servo moves to the position where the top of the servo arm is just past the wire for the DT. The other difference is, is each flash will count 10 seconds of DT time. So one flash is 10 seconds. For two minutes you'd be counting 12 flashes. This is an example of setting just for a 10 second DT. So press release, press again, start the servo moving to the right. When it gets to the fifth position, let go. Press again to start the count and just a single flash, let go, and it's saved. When hooking up the remote engine shut off, you need to make sure that you get your thumb out of the way, but you have to press the lever down flat so the arm can go over it. And also make sure the lever is down for the DT and then press the red button once to reset it to the start position. And now I'm attaching the spring for the DT. Starting the timer, it'll be on. You'll press and hold the button for two seconds, let it go. Press it for another two seconds and the series of events should start happening. Practice this over and over before flying. If you should launch without it running, you can stop it with the RDT, but it's going to DT also. Here's an example of canceling the engine run with the RDT before the allotted time is run out. This is an example of canceling the DT portion of the run with the RDT. Slow motion video of the servo arm moving for engine cutoff and DT. Start the timer for a short engine run and then watch it run on the ground. This is just a three second engine run. In this flight I didn't start the timer properly and I used the uh, RDT to stop the engine run and DT the plane. Here's a five second run. I just couldn't get this Holland Watts to lean out today. I'll have to work on that some more. Remember as long as you don't have the red button depressed when you turn on the power, 
You can't change any settings. In a longer video, maybe I can go into making changes of modes and interval changes. Thanks for watching, and I'll try to expand on this in the future.